All right, guys, he's Inc here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. And I guess this is now becoming a thing. This is, we're not calling it the Pika Pod. Screw that. I said that for the first one as a joke because it turned out a bit too long. But I guess this is going to be a quasi semi regular podcast where myself and Pika, um, we're going to get together and we're going to do these videos. People might wonder why they're appearing on my channel so much. And that's because Pika is an absolute novice when it comes to editing i think i think that's why it is and he doesn't know what to bother trying to figure out how you get the both voices going together and stuff so it's going to go like this until something changes but we'll, we'll figure something out to get it over on pika's channel but for now we are going to jump in for this we'll call it the first official episode of the i don't even know what we're going to call it the scottish pokemon challenge podcast or some crap like that i don't know um guys suggest a name in the comments down below what you want this to be called i'll just have a placeholder title but you guys in the comment section what should we call this um it can use both our names it can use street fighter duel whatever um i would actually quite like to talk about things other than just street fighter duel but hey i don't know if pika would be into a general interest podcast i have found out that he is quite into anime and stuff and he's into the same kind of drama things that i am like logan paul being a douchebag etc so mm -hmm. maybe maybe just maybe we could do that but Pika, you actually have outlined the topics for this this um, this episode, and I am going to do the first topic. But as I've already spoken for a minute and thirty seconds without breathing, how about you say hello? Then we'll jump straight into the topics. Hello, hello, and there's yeah, too many topics. I just wrote them down because I don't want to forget. I have a bad memory, unlike you. You have a good memory. I have a bad memory. And uh, speaking about a name for the podcast, I think Baldy and Moldy will be good. No. No, 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 because no. like, like actually, funnily enough, I did just, there you go guys, people said to me, why do people confuse Hazink with Pika, Hazink's not even bald, well, I've taken my cap off, I nicely shaved my head last night, I am most certainly bald, yes, I also shaved my neck beard, so I don't look as rough as I've looked for the last few episodes, um, but we are going to jump in, and we've got this on alternating kind of mode, I'm going to cover the first, introduce the first topic anyway, and I think I wrote this down. Shredder, good or bad? I don't know. Are you wanting me just to flat out share my opinion? Is it a question? Do you want to start? Um, I, I mean, want you to talk about it. And also regarding your your video, the recent video that you uploaded uh, previously, this one. And uh, because this, okay, okay. Any stakes that you have, any, any stonks on Shredder will go down. If this is not fixed, you're gonna talk about it. I want you to introduce <laughs> it because I knew the shenanigan that goes around the game, but I didn't know that they were abusing it in that way. So now you you can explain that to everybody well, and like just like you explained it to me. And we're gonna talk about Shredder. Is he good actually in PvP or bad? Or is he better than Visconde Vega, which you brought up? And I will tell you also my point, which I don't disagree with you, but there's a small thing that I wanna just add to something maybe you missed. Or, or you know sure, about sure I well explain. i mean cliff notes if you want to actually know in a bit more detail about the the speed thing with shredder i've got a detailed video i literally just hit publish on that video before we started recording this but basically there's an exploit that exists within the game and um, it's technically speaking it's, it's hard to call it an exploit i would actually realistically classify it as more of a bug it's not a bug with a character per se it's more a bug with the mechanics of the game and it basically means that Shredder isn't the fastest unit in the game technically and um, technically the fastest unit in the game is Summer of Bookie and the reason why you wouldn't actually call her flat out the fastest unit in the game she's the fastest unit in the game if she's on a team with Overlord Bison with Shredder Elena. I don't know basically any unit that has a an attack they do at the start an animation of, pre the battle yeah yeah exactly because basically what's happening is the game essentially isn't starting the battle until after that animation has taken place and so it's, let me, let me it's, it's an essentially example. it's essentially what are the animations everything. oh yeah so what the, are animation animations? Of, the animation of bison explosion is not cancelling uh anything uh because it takes literally one second thank Shui engine the six out of six of uh jury the summer uh, uh, the normal elena dropping from tag position to give you the buff from the start of the game the overlord bison explosion these that takes like three seconds to finish 
or five seconds in case of Overlord Bison. These are the ones that are delaying the fight and uh, negating the pa not negating but delaying the passives of the other team. And not and Summer Ibuki does not uh, get affected with these passives. Okay, just, just just to confirm that. Sorry, who who? Wait a minute. Did you say that? Um... <laughs> Normal Elena. Normal Elena, yeah. She drops from the attack position. If you have her in attack position, she drops into the fight, okay. gives you the buff of uh, uh, defense and attack for the entire team, and heal you a little bit, and goes back. So this animation also delays it. Ah, uh, wait. If... I've got a cars. Do you need her fighting spirit? No, no. You don't need nothing. It's her okay. passive. Right. Well, I'm just going to double check. Moment. I'm just going to double check that just now because in a in a battle, I've actually got someone I'm facing who is faster than me, and we'll see if this delay is enough. Oh no, I've got taken Overlord Bison on that team. I need to take Overlord Bison off the team to actually double check that that is the case or not. So wait a minute, I'll go back in. I'll just take off Overlord Bison. Anyway, talk while I'm doing this, you talk about Shredder. Okay, okay. So Shredder, the main main thing that they're asking me, is he better than Visconde Vega? Is he uh, uh, a higher damage dealer than Visconde Vega? Which is absolutely not true. Not true in, in specific scenarios I'll be talking about them. So Visconde Vega starts with a super, ends with a super, and these combo, both of the combo, deals more damage than Shredder's C3, even if he's buffed twice with his super. That's first of all. Now, if you're gonna talk about only the C3 of Visconde Vega versus the C3 of Shredder getting buffed it twice, yeah. For one time, Shredder becomes, deals more damage at the start of the battle, more than uh, Visconde Vega C3. And yeah, he ramped up the damages more and more, but Visconde Vega also ramps up the damages more and more. Okay. So he'll be even dealing more damage. The first impulse in PvP, when Shredder starts the battle, he deals massive amount of damage. Yes, that's true. Versus Visconde Vega if he's dealing only a C3. But okay. as the go uh, the fights go on and on and on, that will not happen. Visconde yeah, Vega really... is a better damage dealer than Shredder. But I Shredder really... is great in PvP for burst. That's all. Yeah. I really want to, like... I don't want to cut you off right, but I just need to put this out because I need to fact check you really quickly. Um, Pika was wrong. Uh, standard Elena, Elena, doesn't standard do Elena doesn't do it. I just checked it there, she doesn't do it. Um, so again, the units that I know of, straight off the top of my head, is Shredder and it's Overlord Bison. If there's any actual unit who plays out a full attack animation before the battle, there's probably a chance that they do do it as well. But off the top of my head, I would, I'm would i not aware of who does that. I would need to go through and double check. But um, I mean, I've not got my jury built because I don't like her. She might do it, I don't know, but we can no, check. No, the jury is one second. Right, well, well, that, that, that's fine then. It does, it does really look like so far it's only going to happen with Shredder and with Bison. Um, anyway, sorry. So what do I think of, what do I think of Shredder? I yeah. think apart from this scenario that I've brought up and I've explained in that other video, I mean, he's the fastest unit in the game, so that's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, we now know that if you've got a bookie, um, well, we don't now know, we've known it for a while, but if you've got a bookie, that is a faster setup, right? So technically speaking, you probably couldn't use Shredder to your advantage if someone's quite savvy and they're using Summer Elena in the right way. Um, I don't think speed, however, is Shredder's only good thing. He is, he is very good for attacking. Um, the issue you've got with PvP is people seem to have a pretty short-term memory. And what I mean by that is, it wasn't too long ago that people were discussing that for a unit to be really good in PvP, they need to have ignore damage immunity and stuff like that right that's why people liked Oni and stuff because Oni could obviously kill people and um, even Ryu you've got your V Vegas and yeah. stuff they they were so popular and they probably remain to be so popular because you can put out all the damage in the world but if you've got units like Bison, Sagat, Gokin and stuff like that these units are probably not going to help you that much you know they're they're going to put out a lot of damage yes but you're not going to kill the enemy whereas these units that have ignored damage immunity are going to do a lot more for you so when i was doing the testing for vega even if shredder did put up higher numbers he wasn't going to be better than vega because the difference is shredder putting out high numbers if you face off against a unit that can say explode or can revive or whatever you're just going to make that happen faster with shredder whereas 
with Vega if he did happen to hit at a slightly lower threshold, he would kill them in that threshold, True. meaning True. he was ultimately going to be a better unit. Plus, not only that, <clears throat> getting from A to B, so what I mean by A to B is going from his super attack to his C3 is faster than Shredder going from his super attack to his C3 because even though it might not seem like it, Shredder's little super attack at the start is relatively long. You know what I mean? In the scheme of things, it's not like look long, but it's long enough that it adds up over the course of a fight. And because Vega can so quickly fly through his super combo chain, I think ultimately, depending on when you start your fight, you could maybe possibly end up getting one more super attack in with a Vega team than you might get in with a Shredder team. So you've got to take uh -huh. things like that and you've really got to factor them into the equation when you're asking, is this unit better than this unit? But because of things like soul power, there was never a chance that Shredder was going to be more powerful than Vega. I, d I don't even know why people were talking about that as a discussion. So Trials, because so of trials. And, and we talked about trials before that are not accurate, you know? Dude, I've said this. The thing about trials is, I think people are so used to a unit that looks bad in a trial, people might say, you can't judge it on trials because the unit might be good outside of trials. What people don't do is they don't consider that a unit might look good in trials and might not actually be that great outside of the trial. Now again, don't get this twisted, I'm not saying that Shredder's not great. I'm saying the trial system isn't great. Because what people need to remember is <clears throat> the developers have decided the enemies you're facing. So literally, if the developers decide that the team comps you're going to fight against are going to basically be weak against the unit that they want to sell you, then of course that one unit's going to look good in trial. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You you really need to wait until you can take these units out, use them in real world scenarios, whether it's bossing, whether it's PvP, it doesn't matter, it's got to be a setting out with trial, and then you can go ahead and get them. Now again, this isn't a reflection on Shredder being good or bad, this is me basically saying that people need to get out of the mindset of judging units based on the trial, because it's something that I've said for the longest time, you cannot do, yet people to this day still continue to do it. Uh -huh. I agree. But overall, you. if you want it in a snapshot, do I think Shredder's good? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't actually think he's as good as I first thought he was initially, right? I, I don't. I mean, I think he's good for speed. That's never going to be taken away. He is 100% good for speed. But so far, when I've been doing the bossing runs, for example, um, <clears throat> I found myself like arguing with myself that I'm kind of almost forcing it that I want to put Shredder into the team to try and see what I can pull off with him and stuff like that. But I'm an outlier. I'm a I'm a, a different use case scenario. I've got all the units in the game basically so I've got so much more to pick from. For the average player I think Shredder's probably fantastic. Um, that's not me saying that if you've got all the units Shredder's not good. All I'm saying is if you've got all the units you tend to not have to worry about team selection as much. You know, and you might actually find yourself leaving a good unit out just to put Shredder on. Again, is that a bad thing? I don't know. It really depends on your point of view. But I'd say that for 95% of the player base, Shredder's fantastic. He's good for me. He is good for me. I just don't know if I would put him into fantastic tier. On a tier list, I'd still put him in double S. Don't get me wrong. I would yes. still definitely yes. put I'd yes. still definitely put him up there. But I do think that that double S tier is a bit strange they're not all created equally on my own tier list i have now created a triple s but there's still some units that i would put in double s that are better than other units in double s but those other units that are at the lower end of double s i wouldn't put them into s you know what i mean and i wouldn't put those well, higher let, tier let units me, let me so say it's, let me it's say weird. one thing i i agree but let me uh, what did i want to say um He's the fastest character in the game. He's the highest no, burst he's not, damage he's not, he's, he's, he's not. We've established that. He's not. Right no, now, no, no, he's no, not. no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I mean, if they fix the the, the coding for the game sure. and everything happens as intended, he is sure. the fastest. And if you don't have this exploit, it's an exploit. It's not supposed to work like that yeah. with Summer Ibuki. If you don't have... Uh, if oh, and no, nobody is using that exploit with her. If they having a normal Summer Ibuki with a normal lineup with no delays, they will never win. Uh, the speed fight versus uh, Shredder. Well, actually, Shredder is on the opponent team. They will win it, actually. So she will always start before him. But 
Well, I'm saying of normal gameplay, if we start with Shredder uh, versus any lineup, he will start first and he will burst and kill everybody. We tested that even versus a Goken versus Double Bison. He, 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 this is his weakness. Double Bison is a lot harder for him to defeat. But for other teams, yeah, he absolutely wrecks everything. Almost everything. The Scondi Vega teams, if you don't have a Goken, you don't have a single chance. I mean, with Ables, maybe if you get one shield at least, but you don't have a chance at all. At all, you don't have a chance. He will absolutely destroy him at the start, immediately. Scoochie, he's so Scoochie, Visconde Vega. What I mean in PvP, he's absolutely fantastic. In Showdown, I bet you 100% we're gonna see him against many lineups. Um, in Story Mode, I tested him. You need Goken on your team. There is no way on earth he survives without a Virgil EX or having Virgil as an assist. Or having Goken on the team. He's absolutely garbage. He's a glass cannon. Glass cannon in story. But if you keep him surviving, just like Oni, just like Visconti Vega, he trashes the mob. He just go and clear the stage. He ramps up his damage more and more, more and more. Because every time you use him, every time he increases his damages by his uh, plus 20 and plus 30. So he's absolutely crazy in story mode. But you need to keep him surviving. Either with stuns or either playing somebody like super, super hard. Uh, defender like Goken. I tried him without stuns, only with Goken. He works. You struggle a little bit because the shields run out by the end, but he works. But yeah, you need stunners on the team for him to work perfectly, I mean, actually. I mean, he's a tech assassin. All tech assassins are squishy. Um, it's, it's, he's it's bad almost, for bossing, by the way. Absolutely garbage for bossing. It, it, it's, it's almost like Oni. Um, Oni was super duper squishy, and the only thing that makes Oni less squishy is the fact that you can build him up to soul power 120 and that uh -huh. really really helps his survivability which is realistically where one of the fatal flaws where the soul power system shows and it, and it does show you that some of these units do need soul power to become like super viable again people are probably going to take this as me saying that vega is not viable it's, it's, it's not at all and um, i'm just saying that Things like soul power essentially gives a lot more viability to units who maybe are those glass cannons and it makes them, they're still glass cannons, but slightly less, sh sh a bit more shatter proof, shall we say. Still glass cannons, yeah. but they might they might need to take a, a whack or two before they smash kind of thing. Um, so ultimately I would say that Shredder is good. I'm very happy that I'm not the type of content creator that says this units must have because I, I've told you I've got my own point of view on that. I don't like my viewers feeling like they're under pressure to spend money on something. Um, if they're whales, but, they're gonna buy him anyway. If you're a exactly. low spender, if you're a low spender, if you wanna buy him for PvP aspect because you want more or if you don't have a carry, that's a good <laughs> option. Is he a must have on your account? As free to play for me, I would never break my account for somebody like him. If one unit that might 100% make me break my silence of free to play, it will be Flame Chung. Well, funny That's enough, all. because the, the, the thing is, and I would actually. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't also, because I'm doing well without her. Well, but I'm, I'm saying she's more valuable than him, in my opinion. Well, I would actually, I mean, probably. Um, I would say that um, ultimately, I don't really think it matters, because if, the un if a person's a spender or a low spender, you'll probably find that if you speak to most low spenders, they usually buy the legends without hesitation anyway for the five levels yeah, and stuff yeah. like that it's the one it's the one purchase they see as high value for their accounts so to be honest there's very few people that we're going to influence whether they buy it or don't buy it anyway because they've probably done it before we've even made the videos talking about them so sure. ultimately shredder good or bad good there that's the question good, answered yeah. good yeah. right so this next topic I'll let Pika introduce it because no, no, do you know what? I kind of feel like now Pika, go on, you go. You introduce it. You wrote the topics. Okay, so you introduce okay, it. Okay, okay. So with the dev devs update, we got something new. Okay, we got. Um, let me go to my screen too. Okay, so the substitute shop and the B ranks, and you're gonna go and uh, revert your uh, investment in another unit that you made for five stars for 500 diamonds. What are you gonna get? 144 blue tickets and the copies of the unit that you have. So the 144 tickets, you can sell them for 12K substitute tokens. If you go up in your screen, go to the substitute shop. In the end, down there, you have 600 tokens of the cars 
for 600 tokens of the substitute shop, which give you 12k of tokens to summoning in the cars, which means you spent 500 diamonds to get 12,000 summoning from cars, which is, I think it's a perfect exchange. You can do this no. over and over because when you return, and I did the video yesterday, no, you no, don't have to get no. the unit to triple S or triple S no, five stars. You, you need yeah, to get you're right. You don't, you don't, you're, but, to but, SS plus. But I'm, I'm going to stop SS because plus. you're, you're wrong. Yeah. You're doing that thing that a lot of people do and they are but, actually, they're fantasizing this, they're romanticizing what this actually is and you are actually really, really underselling no, no, the cost of this right But, 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 now, but that, I want to say one, one small point, one small point, one small point. Yes, mm -hmm. I know the diamond. No, uh, it's nothing 500. to do with it. It's nothing to do with the diamond. It's oh, okay, okay, to do okay. With the diamond, right? okay. So let's just be realistic here, okay? All right. People these days, they do not use their blue gems and they do not use their blue tickets to summon B rank units. They sell them to get the exchange currency. Everyone will agree with that, okay? Everyone yeah. will agree with that. No one is going to tell me that I'm wrong there because that's no, what no, no. Happens, you're wrong okay? with one thing. No, no, no. One, let me finish. Let me let me finish, and you then you can. Say you can fight but me. You're again. wrong with one thing. Right, okay, what let wrong? me what wrong with? Let, let me type it down. Let me. No, 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 no. Tell, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. The B grade uh, uh, fragments, not mm -hmm. the tickets, mm -hmm. not the uh, the B rank tickets, the B rank fragments. You don't sell them. It's bad. You pop them. You make units. You assemble them. Then you dismantle them and you get the tickets back. The tickets are the ones that will give you more. You can convert your blue gems, your blue great ranks into tickets, blue tickets B rank, and then you can sell them for higher cost. In right, the okay, trade. right. So we're still, we're still here oh. at the same page, right? Okay. So right. what I'm getting at though is ultimately these days, what you're finding is people, when it comes to leveling up units, okay? Yeah. How does, how does it work? To get a unit to SS2, right? SS plus or SS2, whatever you want to say, you have to take your unit to A plus. No, sorry, you need to take your unit to S. You then feed your unit an S plus unit. You then yep. feed your unit another S plus unit to get it up to SS2, correct? Yes. Right. Each S plus unit has four a ranks in it because you've yes. got one a plus and one a plus right these yes. days because of this selling off things people are using natural a rank units to level up their units they've been doing it for a while okay so when True. you actually take a unit all the way and you take that unit to the point when you're exchanging it back to diamonds spending your 500 diamonds you get two copies of that unit back okay a plus yeah, four copies. you get well okay four copies you get four copies of that unit back okay yeah. but what you have lost along the way is two four six a plus copies of one of your other natural a, a ranks that is 12 okay. units so it doesn't just cost 500 diamonds it costs 500 diamonds plus 12 a rank units so it's not 500 diamonds you're completely underselling this right no no, no i'm not underselling okay people forget you, about i that, agree though. with you totally no 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 i agree with you it's bad but you and me we played since day one okay what do we do with these uh, a rank natural units what do you want to do with them oh you get stuck you get right okay i'm not going to deny that you get stuck with them right this isn't my point my point isn't that this isn't a solution this is a solution i'm not denying that it's not a good solution they should have when they implemented this system okay change they should have introduced a system where we didn't have to do this conversion thing to sell them because we cannot sell our units to get um to get that currency what we actually do is when it comes to exchanging our units from s plus to take them back to like a plus or whatever it is because the sure. because the game doesn't have a mechanic built in where it can figure out what you've essentially put into that unit it's got no way of giving you back your dupes so see your add any a plus units to your s stage your s plus stage and your ss stage because it can't work out what you put in there what it's got to do is it's got to assign a value to those units that you've lost and the way it does that is it gives yeah, you I understand. It, give, it gives you blue devalue tickets them. right yeah True. so you're so you're massively devaluing them what i've said from the word go is they should have introduced a system that allowed us to deal with the dupes because what people don't realize is the dupe issue 
was an issue long before the gem issue. Wales, yes, okay, it was exclusively Wales. We noticed that you were having too many dupes in your box. Month one, month one, Pika. Pain made yes. a video. I was talking about yes, it. Yes, I said, yes. I said right at the start of the game, people might not be noticing this just now, but as this game goes on, if they don't deal with this, this dupe thing is going to become a problem. And everyone just went, oh, whale, whale, whale. Year one, everyone's like, oh my God, what are we supposed to do with all these dupes? There should have been a system where we could have went straight into our boxes, the disassembly shop, the place where you currently sell your C rank units, they should have changed that basically so that you can put B rank units in there and get one currency, put your A rank units in there and either get a different currency that would allow you to pick better materials like potentially save up enough, you can get starlight, maybe get your... I don't know, God knows, purple crystals, whatever it is, right? But there should have been a two-tier system. A system where you've got your exchange currency for your lower level Bs, and then a secondary tier, call it the premium tier, whatever, for your A's. No, no, okay? it, it has only, it has a good solution. They can add it in the code. It's simple, it doesn't, like, it calculates, just add the code, calculates how many natural A ranks you put into that dupe, and when you return, you get your blue tickets and they give you, let's say you use two Chun-Li, they give you two wind A rank cards. Um, no, 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 I wasn't thinking that. I was literally just, like that. No, no, I was actually just literally thinking that they should introduce a second currency. So it should be, for example, right now the breakdown materials, I think they're blue. Um, and they should basically introduce that if you break down A rank units, it should be purple. So you should get purple and um, disassembly tokens or whatever and in the shop on the top two lines you would have maybe two lines of items that were premium so it could either be higher value bundle amounts of what we currently have or it could be things like special summoning tickets divination tickets it could be um starlight i mean obviously oh, yeah. you, would, you would need a lot to get your starlight let, okay? let me let me, is... let me search for the song about but, what is it called dream on no but it's no dream, dream on. on no it's dream on no the, that's divination that's called, tickets that's, in the shop are that's, are you crazy Hayden? that's called i think that song's called dream on it's in dream on for it's in an m&m yeah, yeah, yeah. samples that what, what song is it the m&m samples that in um, it's not m&m i forgot uh, no m&m m &M, m m samples that song what? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, true, true. What, what, what is that? Somebody in the comments what? down below tell me. It, it, it might be 8 Mile. I don't know. Is it 8 Mile? It might be. Is it Lose Yourself? Lose no. Yourself? It, it maybe. Lose Yourself? No. Someone in the you comment mean... section down below. It's definitely Eminem, mate. It's an old song from the, like the 70s, but Eminem sampled it and it's definitely an Eminem song. But no, I'm in the Soul Core shop thing just now. And again, you can't really see my... In fact, you know what? Hang on. So that you can see what I'm looking at when... It's actually being looked at. I'll go to Discord. I'll go to share your screen. I'll allow you to see my OBS. And that way, <laughs> you should be able to see what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it. So what I'm right, basically right. saying is, in this shop, quite simply, you would have, you get this currency here, right? Yeah. Sure. So that's your base currency. That would be for your B ranks. Right next to that, you put your secondary currency. Then if you've got, Add say, stuff. these boxes here, you have another one or two lines, and those lines would be for your premium items. Now you say Dream On, if you actually go and play other gachas, which you've done, I know, I know this, they have know. this. They have a system where you can yes, use your more premium currency for better stuff. And you get that more premium currency by disassembling your more premium characters. Because look at it this way, Wales, and this might be a good segue to the next point, Wales in this new event, we are inundated with copies of the Turtles. We are getting tickets. In fact, let's just segue to it because I can cover both of these things at the one time. We'll talk about yes. the event, right? I've said for free to play, the event's good. I've said it. I'm, I'm not, nobody can say I've not said it because it is good for free to play, right? It's terrible mm -hmm. for people who nearly finished the Turtles or finished the Turtles because in this event now, there's nothing in it for you, right? There's nothing in it for you. Every single reward in this event is geared towards you summoning more for the Turtles or you can take a dog shit exchange rate and get 500 diamonds per ticket, right? So you either take as many summons as you can get, summon as many dupes as possible, then go into here, go to here, go to here, and trade three copies for one copy of a divination. That's the unit, biggest mistake which, that you've done on your which, account. Which is a bad exchange. What is? To trade them. 
the S S the the S S T or the D M C collab, whatever they are. These Why? this is the biggest mistake. You soon you there will be tickets raised because Wales will be angry and the devs only listen to Wales or mainly listen to Wales and you're gonna get a new substitute shop that you're gonna substitute three three units that are SSD based and get from them one SSD and mark my words mark, mark them mark my words you're gonna have this and you made the biggest mistake why didn't no, never. you hold on them no I never. just hold okay. on them i'll tell you why i never i'll tell you right now why i never because if they did that they would actually have they won't do it i'll tell you why they won't do it because they would have to retroactively add some form of compensation and i say that because listen i say that because but they will not give you the same compensation they it doesn't will never matter. give you it, it doesn't matter they would need to do something and the reason i say that is because they can't retroactively punish people for using the only systems that were available you can't you cannot say to someone oh guess what you should have held on you're now going to get punished these people who held on are not going to get punished because you're actually then actively going to punish people for using the only systems that were available to them in the game you can't do that right so if they do add a new substitution shop which hopefully they will it's going to cause them an absolute clusterfuck because they're going to have to retroactively sort people out who didn't just sit on these units and people can't even say well no that sucks to be you bro you should have held on to them why should you have held on to them you use the only system available to you in game the, the developers can't punish you for that so while i think it would be good to introduce a, a substitution they would have to do something to compensate for that okay if they are just literally doing breakdowns where you can break down your A-rank characters to make them into a higher tier currency, like I suggested two minutes ago, yeah. that's different. But if you're talking about in here, if they change it so that maybe it's only two units to get one, or they change it that you can trade three limited units. They will never give you the special correct summon. compensation. But that's what I'm saying. They can they'll... calculate every every SST-based unit that you use to uh, transfer and do here and give you one starlight for every each one of them the compensation will be we're going to give you two starlights for the right. what we did there's it a new shop be. and uh, uh, no it probably, it probably will be I, I don't i don't dispute that and to be honest as long as they did something to to make it up to the people who used the only systems available to them i don't really think anyone could argue with that because they would have at least do you done think something this, the, the event is fair for everybody no, um, the only reason I say it's not fair for everyone, if you watched my last video, you will understand this. I did, um, I did watch. What, the, the one element that would have made this fair, and I feel like they've massively, massively screwed up on, is, um, I mean, I stated it this way. When people do an event, it doesn't matter what that event is, whenever a new character drops, everyone has something that they can get from that event. Doesn't matter if you're a whale, doesn't matter if you're a low spender, when you go in to do cyborg attack for talking sake, you get a copy of the event unit and a copy of the event unit on the second day, right? When yeah. you do when you do the bosses, if you rank on the leaderboards, you get 20 tickets for each boss. When you do the stages, you get red tickets, okay? Even if you are a whale, that lessens the amount you have to spend to get that unit. So you've got something from that event, okay? Whether it's a lot or whether it's a little, you've gained something new invaluable to you from that event with this event however because you're just getting units that you've already got yes okay you can trade three for one divination unit i would say that that is i mean it is quite literally the definition of better than nothing right you're then if you decide you know what i'm going to push on and i'm going to do the bosses what are you going to get for winning against the bosses oh look you're going to get more green tickets what can you do with those green tickets you exactly. can only summon more dupes i think the big mistake they made in this event was twofold and it, the only reason i didn't talk about this during the devil may cry event is because they did somewhat negate it as they should have made it that these boxes are the same as the have devil the may cry event and have the 50 tickets okay now some people would still say that oh but hey Zink, you didn't complain during the devil may cry event and that still gave tickets well like tickets for the devil may cry summon i mean i would say that do you know what those 50 tickets in both those boxes that's 100 tickets that's pretty much what an average event would give to you anyway so realistically at that point the double may cry tickets the were just, event were just gives extra you something between 130 to 150 tickets for free by the way for the tmnt i think what we're doing here is a great opportunity to the devs i know that they 
listen or watch these videos. There won't be another rerun. That, Look, can we just stop? There won't be no, another no, 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 no. For the future, for future reruns, In future, for any, no, any there won't, there won't be one. There won't be one. Right, not for the TMNT. No, not for, the TMNT. for anything. Maybe for that, anything. Maybe for Luke. Maybe, maybe they want to rerun course. Luke. Maybe for Luke. Right, aye. Luke's yeah. about the only one. Because I've said this before. They won't rerun Monster, uh, Monster Hunter Ken. And the reason they won't rerun Monster Hunter rerun Monster Hunter Ken is because they need to make an event for him. That's it. That's the reason why. See if Monster Hunter Ken had an event like this, we would have had him already. It's because yeah. that raid mode worked at the beginning of the game. Because the game was new. Everyone had all the content sure. to do. So it didn't matter that the event was a non-event, basically. If they brought out Monster Hunter Ken event now and all you got was that raid, that's a nothing burger of an event. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing yes. there. They would have to actually develop a mode like this and they're not going to do it. That's why I think they've okay. not brought back Ken. Yeah, I understand. Ken will not be brought up. If they bring him up, they're going to make an event that will be helpful. And they will be listening actually to us because we're, we're telling them what the player base need. And another thing, if they're going to bring Luke back, they should do... I mean, Luke, if, if they bring him back with normal SSD tickets, that's completely fine, by the way. But if they bring him back with his own... DMC tickets that if they expire you get diamonds by them that's unfair for the people who maxed him and are playing still the game so there's two solutions for this the box that you give either you get a look or you get 50 summons that's totally fair and there should be an exchange similar to the one that you exchange SST to a TMNT ticket exchange TMNT ticket to SST ticket um, I would argue they don't even need to do that and the reason I say they don't even need to do that is on reruns just make them red tickets and the reason I say just make them red tickets is because you already have the you already have that function available anyway. That function's available, so why not just make them on the rerun, why not just make them red tickets? Then that way you don't need to worry about people who spent, people who didn't spend. You know? Just just do that and let them exchange for it. It's, and the people who need the no, units can it's, go it's for a them. smart way. If from that standpoint, we, we gotta stand in their shoes and understand why they did that. If you're free to uh, not free to play. If you're a normal casual spender that didn't max every single turtle, okay? They give you these green tickets. You can't return them. Or if you leave them, they're gonna be diamonds. Nobody will leave them as diamonds unless, like you, like now, if you have the tickets, the green ones, why you will need copies or to pull on them? I can leave them. Let's say 50 tickets, that's 50,000 diamonds. Or 100 tickets, 50,000 diamonds. That's, it. that's good, actually. But that, for your case, but the thing about uh, uh, the turtles, what they do is they give you these green tickets. If you're a spender that, a normal spender or free to play, you went in, you have the green tickets, you're forced to use them. Now you get an extra copy. You need only one copy to make him, let's say, plus one star. Then you're like, uh, let me spend a $10, get some tickets more and make him one star, summon with that. So this is a, a type of sales something like that, oh, no, that no, they I can get that. do yeah but yeah, yeah i agree no, but, with you completely but I, th I think i think you've misunderstood my point a little bit i'm i'm literally talking about for the reruns only and um, i get why they done it on the first run but i'm saying on the rerun they don't need to actually apply those special tickets again to avoid this happening when it comes to the rerun they could just actually just do straight red tickets people that still need the units can then use the red tickets um transfer them over to make them the limited tickets and that way if people have maxed them out in the first run you don't need to worry about them having an event with nothing to do i'm not at all against putting those le limited tickets up for the initial run of a collab that makes total sense i'm talking about literally just for the rerun they don't have to do that they could change it to make them red tickets and kind of take it from there um so again i, I don't disagree it's a good sales tactic for the initial run but when it comes to the rerun, I think they can ditch the limited tickets and just put up normal tickets instead. Because obviously, on a rerun anyway, the value's not as high on the units as it was on its initial run. The hype won't be as high and the amount of revenue you generate won't be as high anyway. So you can kind of ditch those sales tactics a little bit and yeah. you can put out okay. something else. Focus with me on this, okay, before you start your run. The, the people that says that devs are lazy are completely wrong. I say that. They're completely wrong. They're not lazy. Yes, tell, tell me how they are lazy. Tell me how, why. How, you tell me how they're not lazy. I've, I've given I've given plenty of reasons why they're lazy. Um, I'll give you another example right now. They managed to fix 
Gale relatively quickly because Gale is a paid for unit and it will cause them a lot of problems if they don't fix Gale quickly yet we're still sitting with bugs on Baddest Jury, we're still sitting with bugs on Kami, we're still sitting with bugs on Monster Hunter Ken, uh, not Monster Hunter Ken, on Overlord Bison. Um, I think it's lazy on the part of the devs that they prioritise things that might potentially get them into hot water when it comes to breaking maybe rules around like advertising and stuff like that versus actually fixing things for quality of life making units not be bugged i mean if overlord bison is supposed to be a function of his kit where you can stun him and then kill him explain that in his passive because right now nothing in his passive explains why that is a mechanic because if that is a mechanic you should be able to do it to normal bison you should be able to if Overlord Bison is supposed to die that way, then you should be able to stun regular Bison and kill him that way as well. And that's never been the case. So, yes, I think they're lazy. That's because coding issue. They are no, not it's not lazy. Them. It doesn't, no, listen, it they're doesn't stopped. matter that it's a coding issue. We don't have access to the code. We can't fix this. Okay. They that, should fix this. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, true, true. This is true. But uh, by the way, never use uh, Trendy Ryu in tag position. He might die off battle because he didn't take damage sharing. So no, he take damage on his uh, own in the tag. Yeah, I know I'm I'm not actually this isn't a serious run, I just want something on the screen so oh, okay, okay. not so, so the devs the, the devs actually with the rerun they changed everything for the turtles. So they put time and effort to do that. They're not lazy. When they wanna do something, they do it. They are careless. That's wait, what what do, you wait, what do you mean they changed everything for the turtles? Do you know what everything they changed, means? They put, what, did, what did they change? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. From from changing codes rerunning uh, uh, for a rerun that you've done on SEA and done it here and done it yes they did the same format for SEA but here they changed they gave us a box they gave us uh, an event that unlocked all the event part of it uh, partially not the second part is like locked for three days uh, they they gave you the the boxes uh, with the grant they changed it and they added the boxes they added the turtles in it so they did make changes. Whenever Guile was bugged, or not him bugged, but the game code does not work with him, they changed the game code for him. Uh, they changed when Bison had the problem when he was stunned. They changed it and fixed him. Now, because they went through other codes, I don't know what happened with them. It came back, but at some point they fixed it. They never when, just to make just, just to make you aware. They never yeah. they they fixed a bug where he could be um, silenced. Um, and they fixed that. They did fix that. See, immediately after that, that fixed. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, the bug originally was he could be silenced. He could be silenced and he could be killed. Yeah, right. Yeah. Then, yeah. then they fixed it, and immediately the same day, I had people sending me messages showing me videos of this. The same day, he could still be stunned and then killed. I don't think. I don't think before the silence bug. I don't think he could be stunned and then killed. I actually I think. I actually think when they fixed the bug where he could be silenced and then killed, they somehow introduced a new bug where he could be stunned and then killed. And they've just left yeah. that alone. And the crazy thing is, it's actually the same thing, right? I mean, in essence, it boils down to the same thing. It's being silenced and not being able to act and being stunned and not being able to act, it's more or less the same thing. So the fact that he can be killed after that, when they fixed one, they should have fixed the other, and they didn't. So, and also, I think it's a massive reach to say that they've changed everything about this event. All they've done is they've condensed two parts into one, and they've changed a free copy of the Turtles into a box. That's a massive coding. And on, and on the grant, they've changed getting a copy of one of the Turtles into a box. But this is a massive coding, yeah. Hazing. It's not like something simple that you no, add no, to no. the game, and that's it. I appreciate what you're saying, but I think it's a stretch to say they've changed everything about the event. That's it's everything. They gave stretch. you two parts in one part. They gave you two banners at the same time instead of giving you one banner. They gave you boxes instead of single turtles. They they they, they changed a lot of things. They changed the grant, so the coding for the grant as well with the shop as market to pay money for it because they can't fuck up with this, you know? Look, so I'll they did you, hard work. I'll, I'll allow you to say they changed a lot, but I will not allow you to say they changed everything because they didn't change everything. That's a massive reach. Massive reach to say they changed everything. They didn't. They didn't. They condensed it into one. And they already had a banner, two banners up at the one time. On the last event, on the last week of the last event, they had two the, the two banners running at the same time. So it's not like... What did they have to Ah, and, and Turtles. The, the last week of the... The Turtles event, the last week had both Leonardo... Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. They were up on two banners the way it is just yeah, now. The last week. Yeah. But now from the start. So, so yeah, they, so they, they had done that coding effort. already. 
Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is they'd done that coding already. They had coded the game to be able to deal with that. And, so, and did it's... you see before before we got the event, how many bug fixes they did, and how many stuff they did? I didn't know of some bug fixes that they did actually. Yeah, again, I think it's still here. Again, no, yeah, they, yeah, bug they prioritized. Fixed, uh, they... Raphael fixed Donatello. A bug fix prevented sure, Donatello. Sure. Some Nishiki Sakura's fix. So sure. they are putting work of stuff that I I didn't know about. Maybe it was reported. Maybe not. Maybe they tested it on themselves. No. Again, it does they, mean that they, they did, are they, lazy. They're not. They, they did they fix are kept, those units, yes. but they fixed those units because they're trying to sell those units right now. They prioritized the units that they were trying to sell right there and then. Shiki Sakura. Um, I mean, she's different, right? Okay, but why did they not fix Bison? Why have they not fixed um, Jury? Why have they not fixed Kami? Some people might say that oh, their units are not actually bugged. No, you tell me one other unit in the game that midway through them performing their trigger action, you can cancel it. That is not a feature of the game. That is a bug. Right. Anyone who tries to argue with me that that is not a bug does not know what they're talking about because it is a bug and it should it be fixed. And the fact that it's not fixed, I have to question why are they prioritising one thing over the other? So it's one of those things, yeah, okay, I'm all for giving them props, but I'm not going to suck them off and say that they've done something fantastic while leaving all this other stuff sitting unfixed. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like... Yeah. Do you know what? I came into your house and I, I cleaned your kitchen, but I left the rest of your house looking an absolute mess. Right, great, thanks. I you fucking cleaned my kitchen, but look at the fucking state of my living room. Look at the state of my bathroom. You know, you do it all. You don't just do one thing and then expect uh, everyone to okay, okay, pat you okay. on the back. How easy is it, do you think, to fix it, all of these? I'm not. I, I don't. I don't purport to be a game developer. I don't, okay. If I come, but, if you, if you, let's talk normally. If you tell mm -hmm. me come and clean my house, that's my job, mm -hmm. right? I come to clean your house. I started with the kitchen. Sure. I did the bathroom. Sure. I'm in your bedroom, and you come sure. in early, and you start telling me why you still didn't do the living room. What about the corridor? I'm like, motherfucker. I'm. I'm still fixing yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. I'm cleaning. Right. But that's a that's a really really s silly analogy because. You're a friend doing it for free. I'm not paying you to do it. If I paid you to do it and I came in and my house was still a mess, I, yeah, you're damn right. I would give you grief for it because I've paid you for that. I'm not. <laughs> you're not. You're not offering me a free service. You're not doing me. A, you're not doing me a solid. I have paid for this. So this is where we equate to when it comes to something like this game. You're not. These people are not your friends that are just doing you a favour. You're paying money. You're paying money for a service which is buying these units and you expect them to work properly. I don't think that it is actually something that is unjust. I don't think you are unreasonable if you expect them to do that in a timely manner and do it well. So while I get what you're going for here with this analogy, it's wrong because you would not be taking money off me to clean my house. These guys would and I would hold them to a different standard than I would hold someone who was doing it for free. So, while I do appreciate what you're saying, I think you're giving them too much leeway. Maybe, maybe, but I still stand by what I'm saying. They are doing a good job, they're fixing, they're giving us, they they worked on the... Uh, this, how much did they... Do you know listen, what, listen, Pika, listen, Pika listen. I now understand, you're free to play. So literally, if you take the analogy I just made there, you're more forgiving because you don't spend. Maybe that's literally no, 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 what it no, no, is. No, 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 no that's no, not that's no. not an insult. Listen, that's not an insult. A lot of the people who preach patience and stuff, they're free to play. Whereas a lot of the people True. who get frustrated about how long it's taken, they're spending money and they're putting money into True. the game. So also, you need to understand that why would you not expect the thing that you're paying money into to work better? So that actually probably that analogy I did about the cleaning and stuff actually probably explains it a lot better. Free to plays are gonna have a different perspective than people who are paying. And it's fair. Right, some free to plays actually look at the bigger picture and they see it from both points of view. But again, I think we've stuck on this for too long. Um, but I do yes. feel like I do feel like um, they should be. Fi I, I I don't think it's good to say that they're not lazy. I think they're lazy. I'll die on that hill. I think they're lazy. I think they could be doing more. <laughs> I think they could be communicating more. If they can't communicate well themselves, that's why you get a communication partner who can put these things out for you. Who can do better update notes who can service the community. I mean, do we I'll really- i give the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> no, but either Pika, they're, Pika, they, Pika. they're having problems, problems with, with fixing stuff, or either they are really, they don't care. But, like they don't care, they do it at their own pace. They're yeah. not lazy, they just don't care. W one of it, either they don't care or they're having problems. Actually, they, they're having problems to fix some stuff. 
No, That's to be honest, to be honest, Pika, I, I think for too long I've given Crunchyroll um, too much leeway. They always pass things off as it's oh, or at least they used to. It's the developers that are responsible. Blah blah blah. I actually think yeah. I actually think Crunchyroll have got a lot of the responsibility for this because at the end of the day, when it comes down to marketing the game, when it comes down to communicating with the player base, when it comes down That's to like when it comes down to like community engagement on Discord and stuff like that. That's Crunchyroll. Things like the codes that they used to put out and guys. I, I, somebody did actually get upset at me for not mentioning this before and I was going to mention it they have Ooh. basically abandoned that they used to give us codes for every birthday and stuff what happened to that? that stopped months ago community engagement has died they, they don't do it anymore they do not have community engagement so realistically if they're not engaging with us as a community then how much are they engaging with the developers? How much are they saying to the developers, guys, you need to fix this bug. This is a big deal. The players really need to see some action. If the developers are not getting that pressure applied on them, why would they rush to fix these things? They wouldn't. So I do think Crunchyroll and A Plus hold a lot of the blame for the game probably not being as polished as it should be. And I think for too long, they've had the benefit of the doubt where everyone just says, stop joy, stop joy, stop joy. Because that's a narrative that was pushed. But as the as the developer as the publisher sorry as much as people maybe believed it they actually ultimately decide things like the pricing etc country will make that decision of how much they're going to charge for purchases and stuff in the game it gets passed over to top joy but that's not true it's top joy, it's a plus and it's crunchy that decide these things so they have got the power despite the what we've been told oh. this yep despite what we've been told in the past they have got the power to apply pressure and make sure these things get done and they're obviously not doing it so i don't hold top joy solely responsible for some of the mess that we have in game some of the unfixed bugs the fact that we don't have new content because ultimately the publisher should be saying if you made more content in this game we would both make more money as a business they should be pushing the developer to put more work in to introduce more modes to develop more things in games to keep players engaged so in my opinion honestly why would the developers put the effort in if the publisher's not going to put pressure on them why would they bother so it's probably Crunchyroll and A plus more than anyone that's the reason why we don't have these things fixed. Okay, fair point, and I don't disagree with that. Okay, jumping off to a different subject that I want to talk about. Many are asking me about the figurines that you do with your printer. My 3D print? That's absolute, yeah, um, yeah. That's just, that's just I, my, my new hobby. Do you is it some? true? You're, you're going to make one for me? No. Do you want to see some? No. <laughs> yeah, of course, I want to see. Um. I've got a couple that are within my arm's reach, I'll show you them. I mean, these aren't in any specific order or anything like that, um, but I've got various other ones, but like these are ones I like, right? I've done this one, I don't know if you can see my camera, right? But I've done this one not too long I, ago. I see, I see. It's, um, it's Cuphead and Mugman on, a, on a rocket. I, I, my camera's really weird, right? But it's like, I, I really like this one. My painting still needs to improve, right? But I mean, it's wait, getting wait, better. Wait, wait, wait. It's getting better. Printing them, they, they, come, they come without color, right? Yeah, I've got to paint them. You've done the painting. Of course I've done the painting. What do you think I'm doing? It wouldn't wow. be much a, it wouldn't be much of a hobby if I was just printing them and that's it. I mean you can buy you can buy a thing called an AMS system for my printer that feeds in different colours, but I, I don't necessarily like it. I mean it does look more polished, right? But you're just printing and then you're done. The hobby for me is the the, the painting them the and color. stuff, you know. So I quite that like this one. I, I, I quite like this one. The most recent one that I just finished is um it's funny because I'm actually right in the midst of watching season seven of this right now. Is this guy? Um, it's a, an All Might bust. I don't know if you can make it. All him Might. Out. Okay. Um, yeah. That's sent, uh, my Hero Academia. If anybody yeah. asking. I sent you a picture. I'm going to be doing Bakugo, Hawks, and Deku. When I've got them done, I'll show this off. But the the, the biggest one. Um, I'm going to be honest. This was a massive undertaking. When I started this, I did not realize how big this was. Um, and I'll be honest, if I had known how big this was, I would not have done it because it took me two weeks to just print this, right? Two weeks. What? And one week of that was just the base, right? Just the base. So this one, I'd say that it's probably my my best effort to date. And it's, and it's really hard to show on camera because it's so big. Oh my but God. It's this. You can tell with the size of it next to me, right? I can, but the base is down here, right? It's still more to go, right? But it's this massive, 
I wish my camera didn't do that, whole, that whole green screen thing. I'm trying my best to, to get no, it. No, it shows, it shows. But, but there's, there's Venom, and he's fighting Spider-Man, and it goes right around the back, right? Like, you can see the web goes all the way around. Oh. And then it's grabbing onto Venom, and then the now base I see is... why it took time. The base is all, like, it's all webbing mixed with symbioteness, and then at the front you've got the Spider-Man logo and the Venom logo. The hardest part was actually, and again, this is probably not going to show up on camera. If I hold it here, it might. Here and here, like there's one here that you can maybe see, and over yeah. here, there's um, Daily Bugles. And on the actual model, they were really low quality, right? They just looked like someone had wrote Daily Bugle. So what I actually did with this is I took my printer and I printed a, a front page of a Daily Bugle and a front page of a Daily Bugle here. I printed them onto sticker paper. Um, I then put that on the model and then I varnished oh. it. I varnished it onto the model to seal them so that rather than just being really like basic looking Daily Bugles, they're actually, this has actually got an article on it about Venom and this one here has got an article on it about Spider-Man No More and stuff like that. So yeah, this one was probably the, I, I mean, it's, it's up there with the best one that I've done. The colouring is a bit weird on Spider-Man because I went for a kind of a dirty look as if he'd been in a fight. So he looks a bit dirty, but that was me attempting to experiment with like painting styles and stuff. But yeah, that's that's that. I've got a few other ones like I've done um, I've done a Count Ducula for my wife. How long did it take you to, to colour them? To paint them? Yeah. Um, you, you probably won't believe this, it will sound insane, but All Might took me longer than Spider-Man. What? Yeah, yeah. It's smaller, because, right? Well, because, it's, it's because there's... A, Venom's just black, right? But it's all detailed, you, you know, well, the one with the Spider-Man. Yeah, I know, but like, with Spider-Man, the only detail I had to add in was like the black the black striping for his... For, and his suit, he's got like the black webs. Yes. And with regards to the the, the kind of colour shifts on stuff, you, you, you use like washes and you use like different shades of the same colour and stuff to try and achieve the effect. Now, I wasn't very good at it then. With All Might, it might be harder to see because we're on the camera, right? But I'll try my best to bring it close. If you kind of look at All Might's um, muscle structure and stuff, you'll see mm -hmm. that he's got definition. He's got like actual proper line definition to his like biceps and that up here and if you look at his True. back you'll see that on his triceps and on his quads and stuff you can see the definition on his muscles i did that i had to like put shadowing and, and stuff into those areas to, to make them really stand out and pop uh, I, I didn't the details I didn't, I didn't go to that level with spider-man um i've now for my next model I'm going to try and do it exclusively with my airbrush because I do have an airbrush. I'm just not like skilled with it yet. So I'm going to try and do that. And if I can pull it off, I'm going to scrap. Because I've done a trendy review as well. Like, I've got a trendy review that I've made. Um, nice. I'm going to scrap it though because I, I don't like the skin tone. I went, I was trying to get like a skin tone that wasn't too pale but wasn't too dark. And it kind of looks as though he fell asleep in a tanning salon. Um, so I'm like, he's, he's just he's just a bit too kind of orange, if you know what I mean. He's like too much of an orange tan. Look. Uh, I get it. And, yeah. I, and I don't like it, so I'm probably going to redo him, which will be good because I'm a fair bit better now. Um, but no, yeah, it's, it's just a hobby, Pika. It's something I enjoy doing and it's it's fun. I would have made videos on it, but to be honest, who really wants to sit and watch me time lapse what? painting? Yes, yes, uh, this yeah. is a very... Oh my god. I would need to get... Oh my, I, can't, I can't tell you. I love these kind of things. There's people like me. Oh no, that, that, I, I love... That absolutely that. is, but I feel like before I could like do things to give people hints and tips and what they're doing, I, I need to improve myself first. Like I need yeah. to get better at what I'm doing. And I'm getting better every time I do a model. And it's I'd say it's better than the last one. Um, I absolutely adore the Bakugo model that I sent you a picture of. Um, yes. So I want that to look good. So I'm really going to really, really try and up my game for it. And I also have a, a fantastic model of the the turtles that I am going to to do. I basically. wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna do with the turtles? Um, do you want to see the turtles I'm going to do? I'll show you have you a catalog for them. I've got I've got the designs already. Okay. 
So what happens is I, I can't 3D model, right? I, I can't use Blender and stuff. If I could use Blender, I could make these 3D models myself, okay? But I, I can't. I'm not someone who is that way inclined, okay? But I am going to 3D print if I can copy this image. I just need to print screen. This might not actually be the greatest of pictures. So let me just see if I can bring it up by Carlos. And if we go to TNNT. My wife is a 3D artist, by the way. She works with Blender and stuff like that. Does she? Yeah. I mean, she could make me she could make me models in. Um, why is it saying yeah. no products yeah. found? Uh, that should bring these up. I'll do that there. No. Um, can I get the picture? I'm just going to need to take a really shady looking screenshot on my, my thing. I'll do that. Print screen and I'll just crop this. Now this, this looks better, okay? I can't really manage to get it to show up on a an actual image that I've been able to like download so I'm gonna to have to like copy paste this into Photoshop but I'm almost done I promise I know I'm taking a long time here but if I take this is it one image, turtle or all of them no 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 it's all of them it's all of them um, ah I you're take, doing a big one then okay. it's a, it's a, I, I like to do they're called dioramas um, ah, okay and a diorama is basically mm. like I guess you'd call it like a scene basically a scene from like the show, the movie, the, the comic book. It's, it's a cut from, yeah. Okay. Whatever it may be. So I've got a picture of it now. I'll show you what it's going to look like. It's going to look like this when it's done. Bring it here and I'll make this bigger. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? This is, this is, uh, yeah, yeah. this is not the best image in the world. I mean, these look a lot better, but I'm, if you look at the screen, I'm basically going to make that. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to make that. They look really gritty, they look really cool. Um, and it's all four of them standing on like the rooftops. So yeah, that's that's going to be getting made after I've done the My Hero Academia stuff. And then I'm going that's to go a lot of work. I'm going to make the That would take weeks. Probably. And then after that, I'm going to make a He-Man and a Skeletor from Masters of the Universe. Wow. And then, and then yeah, I'm, I'm pretty into this to be honest, so... Yeah, but anyway, let's go back to Street Fighter Joe. This was a bit of a... Yeah, a, a, a there's, there's another topic I want to ask you about uh, also. So, we talked about it before, and you said, no, the return for you on Discord. Uh, what happened? I mean, that was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, if, you want, if, you to, if you want to tell the truth, that was your fault. Like, you sent, <laughs> you, you sent me a message where, like, it was basically, oh, what, man, I'm, I'm getting accused of copying somebody for, like... You d I don't even think you realised at this point until I oh, said it. Well, you you let, thought you were getting me, you thought you were let, getting let copied me put for it the out there why I why no, I no no let me finish you. let me let me finish okay. for the for the look thing and then I'm sitting and I'm like wait a minute did I not discover the look look thing the look in trendy to you and you're like, yeah. you're like wait a minute yeah and then I'm like wait I don't want I don't want like any kind of I don't want flowers for this I don't want people to say oh my god he's like found this out that's not what it was about but. You couldn't get accused of like copying something when I literally discovered it on a video we were doing together at the same time. So it's like, wait, wh why are you getting accused of this? And then at that point, I'd rejoin to see if people were actually going to say anything. And honestly, since I rejoined though, like everyone's been like actually super nice. Like, it's, it's actually weird. Like, literally, there's not been a bad thing said. It's, it's so strange because people still say bad things to you when you're there, but nobody said anything bad to me. I'm like, all right, yeah. it's weird. I guess Pika's I, more I, hated than I, me. I, cool. I <laughs> take aggro, man. I'm the aggro, man. Well, I, I'm going to tell you something, okay? I, I wasn't responding for anything anymore, but it's it's kind of wild. It's wild when, when... You know when the trust me bro mentality hits and like, hey, I, I go and say, uh, Hazing have uh, a mustache while you're literally on cam having no mustache, let's say. And... And people were like, really? And I say, yeah, trust me, bro. And they're like, ah, okay. And then you come in and they're like, hi, mustache man. And you're like, I don't have a mustache. No, no, Pika said you have a mustache. It means you have a mustache. Oh, you Pika, but you don't need to tell me that. I literally get people saying, you put out this video yesterday. And I'm like, what are you talking about? My channel's there. Look at yesterday's yeah. videos. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, like people, exactly. <laughs> people, people to this day claim I put out a video saying that this game is going to have EOS. That is not what I said, and that, that video is still live. I never 
said this game is going to EOS. That video was literally saying if we don't start getting new content, I'm worried that that's what might happen. We got new content. So, like, clearly I never said the I game was- I promise you, until people... today. Okay, when I asked, before you joined, I asked what happened to Hazing, why did he leave? One random comment from somebody that doesn't actually know you that well. He's not a hater. He's nothing. He have this information. Ah, Hazing uh, uh, dropped out of Discord because of the backlash he got from the video saying that the game is going EOS. I was like, what? Did you watch the video? He's like, no, but this is what I know. But that, but again, that was a common misconception. That, that, that had nothing to do with why I left the Discord. Like, I've... I'm, I'm quite happy to own up to my takes if I'm wrong. In fact, yeah. there's times when I'm like, this will, this will probably sound terrible. As a content creator, you can go one or two ways. You can either delete your mistakes, which I do not do. I do not delete my mistakes, right? Or you've got an excuse to make another video because you can hold your hands up and go, well, I was wrong. In, in this game, when there's nothing to make content on, me having to actually put out a video saying, well, I was actually wrong, this unit's pretty good. That's an extra video for me. So why would I hide the video I put out initially? Like, again, and the reason I've never made a visit, a video revisiting what I said about the EOS thing is because even though the timelines might have changed, it still holds true. If we continue to get only reruns, if the gaps between events continue to get longer and we're not seeing new units coming, then... I still think that is quite worrying, right? But right now, I'm not worried. But those habits, those behaviours of not getting new units, not getting communication, not getting events, those things generally signify mm. not great news. And all I'm saying is, I don't think we're heading towards the US, right? Well, we're heading towards the US. Every game's heading towards the US. Even if, yeah, it's, a year, even if it's a year away, we're going to EOS, right? But there's certain behaviours that made the game look a bit better. And if those behaviours continue, then great. But in the last, what, five months, we've had two reruns, we've had one collab that, let's be honest, apart from the unit, they literally copy-pasted that entire event from somewhere else. Usually yeah. people accuse them of copy- No, but they copy-pasted everything. The bosses, the stages, everything. It was literally a reskin of an event. So in the five months, people might argue with a lot of new content. Eh, We've not. I mean, we've had two things. We've had Kami and we've well, had Overlord Bison. I didn't call you for back. To, I, I know you came back to the Discord because you want to check off uh, and stuff, but literally it was... Let, let, let me state it like this, okay? There's a big problem right now, and I want to say it because it's absurd right now, okay? it's There are two people, but forget about the other one. It's mainly one person that don't is name, causing don't, don't, all the drama. I'm not gonna name. I'm not gonna name. But I must I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. Can I? Can I just interject one thing? I'm not gonna name any, can, anybody. No, but can I? Can I just interject one thing? Yeah. I don't know the reason for this, but that person hasn't. They've not said a single negative thing since I've been back. Yeah, of course they're not. Because no, but they, but but wrong. but they've still said negative stuff to you, so I don't think. Bro, don't... they will always do that until no, I, I know. address it. I'll say their name. And this is what they want. I'm not gonna give them what they want, man. They want that. They want to feel the pleasure of this. This is why I'm ignoring, and they just die in vain always. No, the thing I, is, that's not what I mean. Though what I'm they're, getting they're at spreading is spreading misinformation. Misinformation. I don't. Information. I don't. I don't think whether the person's right or wrong. I don't think the person's scared to actually say something when the person's there, right? So I don't think it's that. I'm just half wondering: Do they actually see that possibly they were wrong, and they're not the type of person that'll admit they're wrong? No. So rather than rather no. than admitting they're wrong, they're just moving on from it, which is fine. I, I know them. Fine. Look, I had respect to these people. There's a couple of them. I had respect to them. And I still, when we, we stopped talking, the last messages that I sent was good to all of them. Okay, I talked nicely. I told them it was nice. And I told them, hey, if we can bypass this, everything is okay. And they just started their charade on their own. Like, anything, anything. They start, like, saying stuff. Like, yesterday, I made the video about uh, Flame Chun. Okay? Everybody knows about it. I didn't know that they were using it. I knew that that position can be dropped from the start of the game because Tix discovered that early on in the first month or the second month while we were playing. And we didn't see that it has a major impact from starting that position. It's bad sometimes. But By the way, where, units, where, is, where is Tix? I've not seen Tix for ages. Is he gone now? Uh, he, he's, he's playing, but casually, probably right. once, twice, three times a week. Maybe now he's playing even more, but he, he... When I talked to him, he told me, yeah, I dropped it. I don't 
go into the game that much anymore. But I, I do sign in sometimes. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, that's fine. Because somebody well, told me they've seen him on the scoreboard right now in this event. If, if you're watching, shout out to you, Tex. If you're watching. I talked to him. I talked to him. I have him on, the, on my personal phone number. I talked Mate, to him. The, the, the thing is, Pika, I actually got a message yesterday from a, a, a viewer who maybe you'll comment down below. I don't know. Who actually said that the stuff about me has got that bad that it's now extended to global chat. And he went, do you know this person, something rose, I don't even know what it is. And I'm like, who? And they're like, oh no, people were saying that you made a video about it. People call him a nonce and all the rest of it. And supposedly you're friendly. And I went, I don't even know who this person is. What are you talking about? Somebody apologized like, to you yesterday but on Discord. I, I know, I know. I need, people, people don't need to do that. I, I, that's unnecessary. But I'm just saying, it's like there's some weird hot takes that people do, and I, I don't get it. I don't get why people just like make stuff up. And like, I mean, I told you, people. Uh, here's a bit, here, here's, so here's a here's a, here's a bit so of much. here's a bit of peeling the curtain back. People that you might not know about. Um, during everything, I told you I believed a lot of shit, and I got pretty pissed off at you. And I told you I probably did run my mouth and. I probably said some shit I probably shouldn't have said, but I I told you like a man. I went pick up probably, I probably did chat shit, mate, and I apologise for that. And you're like, cool, cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just think that sometimes if you just if you just own up to something and go, you know what? Yeah, maybe I was being a bit stupid and a bit childish, and yeah, I did it's, stop it's making not, videos. It's not about and that. Stuff. Hazing, hazing. Listen, you you're you're smart. You're a grown man, and you're not that stubborn. I, everybody is stubborn to a certain extent, but they, when they see something, they're like. Ah, oh, okay, they think, ah, I see, ah, this is the problem, okay, ah, you're not, and okay, they move on. <laughs> but when somebody is, like, intentionally doing that, and they're stubborn on their takes, which they know it's wrong, but no, we're gonna say that, and we're gonna target a specific person for their own benefits, that's an issue. They know what they're doing, they're doing it intentionally. Imagine, yesterday I made the video, I told you about the video, and I told the person that told me that, oh, look at the replay, they're using that with Flame Chun. I told them, look, when I say the video, that when I talk about it, look at the first comments from this guy that he will say, we knew about this, this is not this, they will run their mouth. And I told my wife, and I told you, and what happened? I posted the video and they run their mouth. I started laughing, man, because I know it's predictable. Imagine they came and told us, oh, he do Pika doesn't know anything. He took it from Clever Beast. Clever Beast gave them the idea. He was doing that. And then they did the video. And Supendis actually did the video and showed the case did better than them before them. And then I get uh, the, the, the dates. On 11 September, me and Hazing did the video. On... Was, this, was it this message? What? Was it this the, message? The... What do you mean? You said you got a message from someone yesterday. Was it this message? Because I'm wondering if I get the same message. Because I don't, I get, people need to realise about this, this about me. I, I've got something called filtered DMs, where if you're not a friend of mine, they just go into a box. And I'll be honest, I never look at that box. I don't. So people just think I ignore them. But I, I literally get messages of people saying, hey Zink, can you build this team for me? Hey Zink, can you go through my account and look at every unit and pick the best squads? Hey Zink, and I'm just... I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, I can't, no. So it gets filtered into a box and I don't need to worry about it. But I, funnily enough, I got that exact same message yesterday. Was it the same? I, 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 got, I got that as a comment. Right, I got the same message. So obviously this person was quite keen to try and get it addressed. I only noticed this this morning. So I've, if you sent me a message on Discord, I apologize. But once I seen Pika had made a video, I thought, right, cool. It's been, it's been addressed. That is something we've known about for a while. Um, but yeah, no, like, I mean, again, I did say that we would like to, or I would like to do a podcast where we talk about different topics. I didn't think we'd necessarily go on to talking about societal issues, but the thing you said there about people who are like stubborn, I actually brought this up as a topic yesterday in the Discord when they were talking about debates. And I said that the problem with debates nowadays is people don't go into debates willing to have their mind changed. They've decided that their stance is correct and They're they will fighting. not be swayed on it. And someone yeah. commented back saying, he think that's because people on the internet generally argue in bad faith. They're not, they, they, they don't want to have their mind changed. They're not out to have their mind changed. They basically want to go in with a view. It doesn't but matter if that point of view people, is wrong. If they're like this, you shouldn't give them like, privileges or powers over other people because they are looked and perceived as they influence other people imagine you're a mod on street fighter duel you hazing and you come up and say something about me 
And then I go and I'm like, no, that's not true. But oh, he's a mod. The Crunchyroll is 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 uh, like trusting him. It must be he's talking right. He have privileges. He can mute you. He can say whatever he wants. He can. That's bad. People listen to these kind of people, right? No, you're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. That, that's the problem. I think they just should remove themselves from drama. Remove themselves from. Just focus on your job. You have one job. You're a volunteer, or somebody hired you against your will, which happened actually twice yeah. on Street Fighter Duel. Do what are you, what you're supposed to do. Moderate and shut up. Put other helpers. If you want to help, help people with combos re relating the game. Stop the drama. What are you? What are you? No, I think like, like I, I, I've got a slightly different take here because I obviously do have my own Discord and people take part in my Discord and stuff. And like some of my moderators are quite funny and they are quite funny. And I, I don't, I don't have an issue with moderators taking part in conversations. Yeah, you can for, be fun. Okay. No, 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 no. Listen, I don't even, I don't even have an issue. I don't even have a, a, an issue with my mods taking part in casual fun joking about and stuff when it's clearly like in jest okay but those same moderators i expect them when it steps over a certain line that they do something they say something and and if if they have got an issue with an individual on my discord i would expect them not to like out that publicly i would expect them to go to dms and maybe say look I don't like 100%. you doing this. If you're going to continue to do this, maybe you'll get banned and stuff. And I, really, I've never really had an issue on my Discord with that kind of thing. Um, to be honest, I, I do neglect my Discord. I hold my hands up to that. But I've got a group of people, mainly Buddha, um, who... Not mainly Buddha, that's, that's a bit disrespectful to the other guys. All my moderators do what they do. They're not as active anymore, I've got to be honest. I've said this a few times, my my Discord really is a, a Disgaea RPG Discord. It never really grew outside of Disgaea RPG. People join and leave, join and leave. But I've tried to cultivate talk about Street Fighter Duel and stuff and it's just not there. So I tend to gravitate towards the places where that does take place, like my guild Discord, like the main Discord. So I can't really say anything, but what I will say is my Discord still gets used and it's not filled up with profanity. It's not filled up with arguments. The moderators do things right and people don't complain yeah. much so i did previously have a moderator who i will not get into it didn't end very well and they were potentially abusing their powers a little bit but that got True. dealt with you know um but let's really quickly finish up this paper because i can hear my wife coming back yeah. and i promised that i'd be finished so last last point in contact i mean you, you kind of covered it already talking about the the thing from tag i don't think it's game breaking i don't like i don't use it i've known about it for the longest time I don't use it mainly just because it does it does it does because I the highest be lineup right now is the fire adon with flame chan mm -hmm. so if you let's say you're uh you you spend a lot and another person just bought flame chan and they're just doing more scores than you because they know this trick but you don't know and you're playing just like the game is intended because you don't know how to use it from that position or you never knew about it is this fair it's not fair sure. that's what no. i'm talking about they should fix mm -hmm. it just don't drop from that position because it's not supposed to be. That's an that's an exploit. Exploit is something you should be punished upon if you abuse it. Mm -hmm. But if you report it, like me in the video, I used it to showcase it, not to get a score. I literally didn't go and fight the boss again. I was knocked out of top 50 because everybody were using it. Yeah. No. yeah. So this is just shedding light on it. I just hope that they fix this and it doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't happen on SEA. No, you're right. But anyway, let's hope that people give us good comments about what we should call this. Um, I think maybe it was going to run a bit longer. It's already run longer than last time. I'm going to cut it short because I'm going to get my balls absolutely kicked. Um, when you're finished with this, go and watch that video I put out earlier. Pika, I can see it's already generating some different thoughts. And yep. you can give me your thought. You can write in the comments what you think. I've explained that. I've shown it. It's all there. Um, I'll be there. This video will be out today. Today being Friday. Um, maybe later on. But hey ho. Go and check out my other video from earlier. Go and check out Pika's videos and um, re watch one of his 50 million lists that he likes to put out. <laughs> True. <laughs> right, mate. But I'll uh, catch up. These are requests. Oh, I'm just. Uh, I do them every, two, every, two, every two or three months, I think it's the best time to do them. It's just my opinion. Yeah. There's, more, there's more to add to them if you do that, but there's no content to make for this game, so I get it. Um, but anyway, I'm Ofsky. Pika, say cheerio. Make it quick. Goodbye, everybody, and thank you for everything. Yes, and the first hour of this was a Street Fighter Joe podcast. The second hour, the second 20 minutes of this was maybe more 
I don't know, political. <laughs> Speak to you later, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>